up my beautiful people welcome back to another video with your girl pamela janani welcome back to my channel what is the vibe and beautiful tribe happy saturday okay um the sun is shining and god is good the birds are chirping and so much more go out and enjoy nature go out and be grateful that you are breathing that you are living and and that god is is with you okay so if you guys are not subscribed please go ahead and do so right now support your girl on this journey that i always say is bigger than me because it is all right let's go so this video is not for everybody, okay? There's a lot of people who are dealing with um, a karmic, okay? A karmic, a karmic Jezebel. Um, this video is more geared towards women who are dealing with a, a dark witch, a dark feminine energy that is trying to destroy their energy and so much more. Um, twin flame situation, flip, twin flame journey, somebody who has used black magic to obtain the, the life of someone that they were attached to, okay? This video is for you, right? So black magic that these karmics are doing is pack firing and i know that you know in the beginning of this situation that you were in these karmics thought that they were getting away with it because your your person your ex chose to go with them and put them on this high pedestal okay even though that they saw red flags and even though that you warned them they put this karmic jezebel on a high pedestal somebody that they knew were for the streets but they wanted to turn a beep into a housewife, right? These karmics got people, got this masculine by using black magic. And a lot of you warned this masculine about the, about the very the truth that is happening. You warned this person, you warned these people, and they portrayed you to be the bad person. They portrayed you to be the bad guy. They portrayed you to be a witch, called you a witch, called you... Um, all the names in the book, everything that they were next to. Let's happen to it some more. A female who is a karmic Jezebel, a dark witch, is under heavy spiritual warfare. These karmics are under heavy spiritual warfare. They have done death spells on you. They have done death spells. They have done spells to break you and your kids. They have done so many spells to wish you in poverty, to take anything that you have good out of your life, to strip you, to be down with nothing and everything that they have wished for you is happening to them and everything that they have projected onto you is and this masculine is going to happen to them is happening to them they wished you to be in poverty they wished you to have stds they wished that you would just be off of the face of the earth and these wishes that they have they have wished towards you these spells this black magic all these cults and covens and all these people that they turned against you are attached to nothing but demons. And they want to say that they're not and they want to pretend like they're not and they want to pretend like they are validated for everything that they do and they are not. They want to say that they love God. They want to act like they're walking in the right shoes that everything is going good for them, but it's not. They have gotten away with it in a sense, because they were able to do things to you. They were able to turn people against you. They got away with it for a second. But while they think that they got away, away with it and they thought that they were hurting you, they were uplifting you. Every single spell was never in contact with you. Every single energy that they sent never reached you. It just stayed with them. It stayed with the masculine. It stayed with them. And now everybody eventually is going to see these people for who they are. Like I said in another video, you can throw out the narrative of somebody else, but who's going to live that narrative? It's not going to be the person that is good. They're not going to live out the narrative that they planned and told people about you. They tried to tell your narrative. It doesn't work like that. It doesn't work like that. It doesn't work like that. Let's tap into it some more. These dark women who pretend to love God and get dressed up to look all nice and proper and prim and be on their best behavior. These same women, these karmic Jezebels who have no God inside of them, but they want to play God by trying to play with your life is being dealt, will be dealt a heavy spiritual warfare that they brought onto themselves. They did. Empresses, high priests, women of God don't do magic. They don't do black magic. They don't do anything such as that. They don't do it. And a, a lot of people want to pretend like these people tried to say that you did it. You did black magic. You put juju on people. 
when all that is attached to you and all that is and, and will ever be attached to you is good energy, is blessings, is abundance that they tried to stop, that God is going to multiply. You got through this, high, high priestess. You got through this, empresses. You got through this, woman of God, who dealt with this twin flame situation where you were brutally attacked in the spiritual and the flesh. You got through this for a reason. And it gets better, I promise you. No mercy to any of these karmas who go after your spirit and your flesh. No mercy at all. They want it. They want it. They're mad because they're sick and they wanted you sick. They're mad because they got an S. No, well, they knew that they were going to get an STD. A lot of these karmics, as I said before in another video, they knew that they had an STD. They had an STD long before they went with your ex. They had it. Then they got more STDs because they were sleeping around with multiple people, multiple parties, and they didn't tell the masculine. They were having, yes, some poly relationship, open relationship things where they were doing things together. Absolutely. For some of these people, not everybody. But these karmics knew that they were holding on to an STD and they wanted to give it to your masculine. And just in case your masculine still loved you and wanted you and was down low sleeping with you still, they hoped that that person gave it to you. But a lot of you guys did not. And you were protected. And these karmics said that you were the ones that gave them the STD, that, that you were the ones that gave them masculine, your ex an STD, and you didn't. Do you know what kind of a lie that is to say that someone was passing around an STD and tried to break up your happy home when you gave it to that person? And you know how twisted it is that your ex knew that you were not the type to be grimy like that and they told other people that you did that? That's grimy. And yet they still played the victim to other people like you did something wrong. God is watching. That's some ugly, 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 ugly behavior that God does not take lightly so they're experiencing karma and it's not over it's not over it's not over continue to rebuke it transmute it and flick it away all right you're going to be living your life in our one God our one God destined for you to have you're going to be living this this life that our one God destined for you to have let me get that straight Protection comes from God and not a spirit or flesh. Protection comes from God. Your enemies, these Jezebels and whomever it is that worked with these cults, these covens, these covens, these false, um, these false witch doctors, these false tarot card readers, these false people who told lies on you are going to be dealt a heavy spiritual warfare that is not from you, but from God from the angels, from the universe that they played around with. Not you. Protection comes from God. God created everything and God can destroy. He can do whatever it is that he wants to do when he sees the time, when he sees fit. He's going to do it. He's going to do it. God is still God. God will always be God. And people need to understand that they need to, they, they can't play with him. Leave, stop trying to play God and trying to ruin someone else's life, trying to alter, trying to destroy someone else's calling. Stop trying to play God. If God didn't want something for someone, then, then it wouldn't be. But when God wants something for someone, trust me, it will be. So to all of my high priests, all of my empresses, all of my women of God, chosen, whatever you are, my queens, you are okay. You are going to be okay. All of these enemies of yours, all of these karmas, all of these Jezebels, all of these cults, these covens, and whoever it is that turned their backs against you will, will definitely understand that God is in charge and not them. And they will understand that you are always going to rise and there is nothing that can stop you but God in yourself. And I refuse, and God refuses to let you do that. Okay? I love you guys so much, okay? Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And subscribe. Check out my online store below, okay? Look down below and you'll see it. All of my products on there are, are made with my hands and made with love to bring light and love into your room, whatever room you place it in. Um, there's so much more that I am working on to put inside of my store and you guys are going to love it. Okay. I love you so much. God is using me to do great things. Share my content. Give me a thumbs up. And all of you guys, I'm sending you love, light, and abundance. Enjoy your weekend.